Jeep is a brand synonymous with off-roaders, the iconic Wrangler dating all the way back to 1941. More recently, it's gone a bit softer, a bit more city focused, but this is a car trying to have its cake and eat it too. It's called the Cherokee Trailhawk, and the Trailhawk moniker is key to its intentions. So here are five things you need to know about the Trailhawk. Number one, the Cherokee generally is more city slicker than full on off-roader, although this one does try to raise the bar. It's trying to be the most capable off-roader in its segment, and as far as the segment goes, you're looking at Mazda CX-5, Honda CRV, Subaru Forester, those sorts of things. So it's never gonna be as capable as something like a Wrangler, but it is a very capable soft rotor. Number two, it's a lot more than just a sticker pack, although it is that as well. Um, on the bonnet, for example, that's designed to reduce glare when you're off-roading, which is maybe pushing things a tad, but elsewhere there is some cool off-road hardware. A unique front bumper, for example, that's less likely to snag on something if you're off-roading. There's good solid steel underbody protection in case you do bash something, and the all-important red tow hooks just in case you do get bogged. Number three, it actually rides on the architecture of a regular passenger car, although Jeep has beefed it up a fair bit for this model, mainly with suspension and tyres. So you've got unique 17 inch off-road tyres designed to cop a little bit more. Uh, the suspension also rides higher, so you're looking at an extra 36 millimetres of ride height. Now that takes ground clearance to 221 millimetres, which for a mid-sized, effectively beefed up soft rotor is pretty good. And that means you can have a bit of fun, you can go exploring. Although there is a limit to it. Wheel articulation, how much the, the wheels travel within their wheel arches isn't that great. So you can end up kicking a wheel in the air every now and again. Number four, it does get a more serious four wheel drive system. It's called Jeep Active Drive 2. Um, nice little cool knob here that uh, allows you to select between various modes. So you've got snow, sport, sand and mud, or rock. So it'll tailor things like the throttle, transmission shift points, um, even the traction control, all for those different conditions. And there's even a rear differential lock. Again, it's all about traction, trying to maximize your chances of getting through something. Number five, obviously it does have limitations. Yes, it is a surprisingly capable mid-sized off-roader, but um, ultimately it's not gonna go following a Land Cruiser or a Nissan Patrol into the scrub. It's not that type of vehicle. It does its best work around the suburbs, and it actually does pretty well. It's got more car-focused suspension, so it um, corners nicely. 3.2 litre V6, plenty of power. You do have to rev it, and it is a bit thirsty, but it gets along all right. It is not cheap, though. You're looking at about $49,000 for the Trailhawk. Now, if you wanna read more about the Cherokee Trailhawk, go to practicalmotoring.com.au and read our detailed review.